someone requested that I make a video entering a spread trade and also just buying an option on Robinhood. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. If you already know how to do this, go ahead and click off. You're going to select a ticker, ticker excuse me, select trade, trade options. You can choose an expiration date that you'd like at the top. The closer to you, the more risk involved, but the cheaper the options are going to be. The further out, the less risk involved, but the more expensive the options are going to be. Now you can see at the top it says buy calls. That means you're going to buy a call. That's what's selected there, buy a call. Let's say we're going to buy the 156 call. If you tap on it, you would select one if you just want to buy one call. Now you see the limit price there. Those numbers there are the bid ask spread. 420 being the bid, 429 being the ask. To the very right, you see 425. That's the middle of the bid ask spread. That's the default that you're, you will pay for this trade. Now, if you want it to get filled immediately, you would enter the ask price and most likely get filled immediately, um, which would be 4.29. Now, when you're done, you're going to select review and you can send off your trade immediately after that. Now, if you want to enter a spread, like a bull call spread, the only difference is you're going to select select at the top, right? And let's say it's a bull call spread, like I mentioned. So we'll buy the 156 call. You click the 156 call. It'll highlight it. Then you want to move over to sell at the top. And you're going to sell the 157 call. And then from here on out, it's the exact same deal. It'll show since you're paying 425 for the call you're buying and, and getting 367 for the call you're selling, the total cost to enter the trade will be $58. Uh, now you actually have to set aside collateral for this kind of trade. Um, but I won't go into that right now. But same deal. If you want to buy one of this spread, you can uh, tap one. And then you see the bid ask spread there. You can leave it at mid, or if you'd like it to get filled sooner, you can enter a higher price. For example, maybe 0 0.65, or maybe all the way up to the ask price of 68 cents. And then you're going to hit review and send it off. So exact same thing from here on out.